What's up guys, welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit. This is your host, Zach, and today's subreddit is r slash I don't work your lady. This story's called, Woman irate that multiple kinds of pretzels exist in different places calls manager on me. I just found this Reddit yesterday after being directed to it. After I posted an etiquette question in two other places about what to say when being mistaken for a store employee. The big difference I see in most of the posts is that I'm a DSD vendor pull-up, which is a person who stocks something in the store for a specific brand, but isn't employed by the store, and typically has multiple stores to visit, and typically a distinctly different uniform, if any uniform at all. I get easily 5 to 10 of these incidents per day and have easily a dozen stories of this nature that are real special, so I'll pick possibly my favorite. One of my route stops is a WM, which I also shop at, so I know where things are generally. This already irate lady storms over to me, clearly not noticing that my clothes do not match an employee's and only seeing that I'm putting things on the shelf. She demands I tell her where the pretzels are, because no one else will help her. Well, I don't work here, but I do shop here, and I know there are several places for them. What kind are you looking for? Just tell me where pretzels are! Is that not clear enough? Do you want plain ones? Do you want chocolate-covered ones? Do you want flavored? The McDonald's up front sells big doughy pretzels. Just tell me where the pretzels are! Well, the chocolate-covered ones are over by the candy, on the other side of the store that way. Over that way? The customer service here is hideous! Except I don't work here, so your experience with me doesn't count? She storms off. Some time later, she comes back with the manager, pointing at me for not helping her. Manager looks at me, looks at lady, looks at me, looks at lady. You doesn't work for us, ma'am. People who work here wear a blue vest. What is it you were wanting to find? Just tell me where the pretzels are. Well, we have multiple places. Do you want the hot and fluffy kind, chocolate covered, the plain salted kind? She finally leaves the store. Manager and I both just shrug and resume regular tasks. Okay, lady, how do you expect to get what you want if no one knows what you want because you won't tell them what you want, you idiot? Goodness. Sorry I got heated. Pretzels are a, a trigger for me. This story's called, Threatened to be fired from a job I had just quit. So, a little over a year ago, I had started college at a university one town over from where I lived. I decided to move into the dorms to experience the full college life, and as I had no car to drive back home, had to quit a retail job that I had for about a year and a half, and turn down a manager position I was just offered. The town I go to college in is pretty small, with the only thing going for it being the university, so there were no clothing stores or entertainment places. My third week of university, a few of my new friends and myself decided to take a trip to my hometown to visit the mall. The store I used to work at was one of those very teen-centric fashion stores that had no sizes to fit my 6'3", 275-pound stature. But I decided to drop by and say hey to my past co-workers. My friends decide to look around the store, so I stay and started to look for a gift for my girlfriend. The mall pretty much prevented security from kicking people out and only did it as a last option, so it's usually up to the stores themselves to deal with crazy customers. About 10 minutes later, a small Hispanic woman came up and asked if I could open a changing room for her daughter. I politely told her that I did not work there and continued to browse some hoodies. At this point, she got a little aggressive and proceeded to say, Um, yes you do. I've seen you here every time I go shopping. I proceeded to explain that I had recently quit and for her to find an associate to help her. This is where she goes full Karen mode. Don't you lie to me, I know you work here! Stop being lazy and do your job! After working in retail so long, I was tired of putting up with rude customers and practically jumped at the chance to let this lady have it. For the last time, I do not work here. Step off, pendeja. Pendeja being a really rude word for stupid. This Hispanic woman who was only maybe 5 foot 3 started cussing and yelling at me in Spanish, which I barely understand, and after a few seconds switches back to English and starts yelling at me to get my manager and that she'll have me fired. The manager on duty was actually the store manager, who I really liked since she never took any BS from customers, was already on her way. The woman who realized it was the manager started cussing in Spanish again 
and at this point, the store manager politely told her to leave immediately in Spanish. This only made the woman angrier, as she spit out more Spanish cuss words than I didn't even know existed, all while her young daughter stood behind her very embarrassed and a little scared. The store manager got fed up and told the lady in Spanish, Get out before I call the police! The lady huffed and, with another flurry of curses, turned around and started walking. About halfway out, she turned back and said, I'm contacting the district office to have you and that lazy POS fired! The store manager just laughed and said, My sister is the district manager and he doesn't even work here, pendeja. We both looked at each other and let out a little laugh. I stopped looking for gifts and spent the rest of my time in the store explaining what happened to my friends and talking to the manager about other times situations like this happened when I worked there. Overall, I don't miss retail one bit, but I do miss the people I worked with, especially the store manager. She always had my back, even as a customer. Honestly, man, I couldn't have said it better myself. You know, being from the Houston-ish area, there are a lot of, um, Latinos around. And there are definitely some words that I know of that Mexican people use that are definitely not okay for people from other Spanish-speaking countries to use. And there are words that are insanely offensive to, you know, Mexican people that, that don't really matter too much to people from like, you know, let's say, Panama or Nicaragua. It's just really interesting stuff and you gotta be careful. This story is called Plot Twist, I Used to Work Here Six Years Ago. I used to work at a very popular high-end grocery store in my area. I worked in almost every department. I started there when I was 15 and took whatever hours I could to make extra money until I finished college when I was 21. I made a lot of friends there. I met my now husband there and this particular store happens to be the nearest grocery store to where I live now. I shop there regularly and pop in to visit some friends I made who still work there. Fast forward, it's been six years since I left to get a full-time job in my career field. Hubby and I are married and now we have a five-month-old son. I had a C-section, so a few weeks after giving birth, my doctor gave me the okay to drive, and a month or so after that, I felt confident enough to go get a couple groceries alone with my little nugget. I put him in a baby wrap so I wouldn't have to lug in his carrier. Anyway, all this is worth mentioning because I just had a baby, so my hair was a wreck. Probably had baby spit on one or both of my shoulders, was basically in pajamas, and not to mention, literally wearing my infant. The other thing that's worth mentioning is that the store in question has recently displaced literally all of their products to make room for a new beer and wine section that they want front and center when you walk in. I used to know where everything was in that store, but that was six years ago and before they moved everything. Okay, now here's the story. I don't remember what I was looking for, but I was just standing in front of a shelf when a woman walks up to me, doesn't say hello or excuse me, she just gets in my way, so I look up. The kicker is that I actually vaguely recognize this lady. She's a regular and I had probably checked out her items at least a few times while I had been working there. As soon as I made eye contact with her, she asks, Where are the pickles? Oh, uh, sorry, I don't know. Why not? I'm caught off guard and a bit sleep deprived, so my brain isn't firing on all cylinders. I don't know off the top of my head. If they're gonna move everything on me, then you should at least know where it's moved to so that I don't have to wander around the store. I'm feeling like I shouldn't have to point this out due to my appearance and the fact that my infant child is strapped to my chest. I don't work here. Yes, you do. I'm contemplating if the last few years were a hallucination and if I do still work there. Um, no, I really don't. Yes, you do. I've seen you standing at that information stand up front. I realize you're not on the clock now. She gestures vaguely at me. But why can't you just tell me where to find what I'm looking for? I haven't worked here in over six years. She just stared at me and said nothing. I was exhausted and just wanted to finish up and go home, so I just walked away. Not sure if she didn't believe me or if she just didn't know what to say after realizing her mistake. I feel bad that I wasn't nicer. I know that she wasn't very nice to me, but it's not her fault they rearranged the whole store she's been going to for probably 10 years or more. I was just so tired and not even processing the situation, so I just escaped the first moment I could. I hope that lady found her pickles without harassing anyone else. <laughs> Yo, yeah, you 100% cannot blame that woman for being, uh, grumpy, you know? 
When you need a pickle fix, you need a pickle fix. There's no if ands, or buts about it. This story's called Karen at Target. I got off work from my grocery store job. My uniform, this is important to the story, was a khaki colored polo shirt, black pants, and a navy blue apron. I had flipped my apron down, but still had it tied around my waist, because it had pockets and I loathe handbags, and my shirt was untucked. I was exhausted and probably looked like a big slob. On the way home, I remembered that I had run out of shampoo that morning, and I decided to stop by Target. I picked up a handheld basket by the door, got my shampoo, and decided that, since I'm already here, I was going to pick up a couple of things for dinner. Our store had a food section. I'm browsing and reading labels when another customer comes into the aisle and hovers near me. I shift aside, thinking I'm in her way. I put down the item I was holding and picked up another choice. When she barks, Excuse me! I looked over, ready to apologize for being in front of the item she's after, and prepare to move aside again. I didn't even get a chance to speak. Do you know where the irons are? Um, no. I don't know that. Weird question. I returned to the label I'm reading, and she got irate with me and huffed. Well, do you think you could find someone who does know? Oh, she thinks I work here. I see. You should probably try asking someone who works here. I'm just shopping. I wasn't as polite as I could have been, but Karen and I got off on the wrong foot. I decided to find something in another aisle and walked away. She followed me. The least you could do is call someone over. Ma'am, I don't work here. I don't know where they keep their crap. I'm just shopping. The profanity set her off. There's no reason for rudeness. You should be fired. I rolled my eyes and walked away again. This time she didn't follow and I thought for sure she'd finally realized her mistake. After picking out a dinner choice, I headed back towards the registers in front of the store. I see the lady again, this time talking to an actual employee. From probably 30 feet away, she sees me, points at me, and shouts, There! There she is! That girl that wouldn't help me! And she swore at me! By this time, I'm close to passing them up, and I see the awkwardness on the employee's face as he says, Her? Ma'am, she doesn't work here. I gave him a look that I hope conveyed my sympathy for his plights as she started in on him anew. I didn't stick around to hear the rest, partly because I know my weaknesses and was quite likely to swear again. Partly because this Karen, this time, was not my problem. And for that, I was thankful. You know, after working at hotels and gas stations, I can tell you I can relate to this feeling 100%. It is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful feeling to look at something going on and just be like, that's actually not my problem this time. This story's called, Why Do People Think I Work Here? A Costco Story. So, this happened the other day while I was doing some shopping at Costco. Background. I am a graduate student, currently working part-time at a family-run asbestos removal company while I get my graduate work done. One of the tasks that I occasionally have to run is to run to Costco for office supplies like paper towels, waters, the occasional snack purchase, and weirdly enough, baby wipes. I know, why baby wipes? The thing is, baby wipes are very useful in construction. For not only a quick and easy hand wipe or emergency toilet paper, but to wipe the sweat off of face masks and eyewear. In the asbestos removal industry, we have to wear masks to protect us from the asbestos and particles in the air made by disturbing the material. The thing is, constantly sweating causes our masks to irritate our skin since it rubs, and so we found that baby wipes can disinfect the masks as well as cause no irritation compared to other disinfecting wipes. Now for the story. Grabbing one of those pallet cars, the ones where they are long and only have the flat bottom, I make my way into Costco, list in hand. First stop is the food area since I was going to pick up some snacks for the office. And here is where I meet the first confused customer. Here's the cast. Me? Surprise, surprise, it's me. Customers. Board game friend. Customer 1, a middle-aged Middle Eastern woman, comes strolling towards me as I peruse the produce. Excuse me, but do you know where the green mangoes are? I look up from the apples, obviously confused. Uh, hello there. Sorry, I don't work here. I don't know if they have them anyways. Have a nice day. Then I slowly start to move my cart away as she gave me a shrug. At this point, I think that was odd, since I'm wearing a collared t-shirt with the University of Nevada logo on it. Go Wolfpack! And blue jeans. No name tag in sight. 
After gathering some snacks, 12 cases of baby wipes, and helping an old lady with a case of water because I'm a nice person, I spot some of my board gaming friends. Apparently, they were shopping before the gaming club that was later that night. We laugh and talk about the plans for later that night, chatting away for a while before I headed back down towards the sodas, where I was stopped by another customer. Not one minute after I finished chatting with friends in plain view, customer two is a middle-aged white male. He walks right up to my full cart. Hello, do you work here? Now really confused on why someone would ask that since I was clearly chatting with my friends and loading stuff into my cart. No, sorry, uh, check the back corner where they bring stuff out from the back. Oh my god, okay, thanks. This is getting super weird now since nothing on me screams Costco employee. Like, seriously, they all have name tags. Shrugging that off, I head towards the vitamin aisle because the boss wants some protein shakes and I get stopped again. Customer 3 is mid-30s Asian female. Excuse me, do you know where Blank is? At this point, I have a mix between surprised Pikachu face and utter confusion. I don't work here. Sorry. Good luck. I quickly leave after shoving two cases of protein shakes into the cart and push the cart as fast as I could into one of the lines where, funnily enough, the gamer friends were in the line next to me. Hey guys, long time no see. We chuckle a bit since, haha, <laughs> it's funny. You would never guess what happened. I got mistaken for an employee not once, not twice, but three times. They both laughed a bit more when one of them piped up. Board game friend says, I think it's because you have a collared shirt on and you are pushing one of those larger carts. Like seriously, I rarely see employees with shopping carts. But usually, you can tell who is who with the aforementioned name tag and they would have been more than likely restocking, not unloading. After that ordeal, I decided to treat myself with a slice of their amazing pepperoni pizza for dealing with all that shenanigans. We had a good joke about it later that night at the board game club, and the guy who I saw at Costco even called me Costco Boy as a joking nickname. Though, that is most likely because he was salty I whooped their butts that night. Two for two in the win category. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.